previous video on cheap and easy raccoon trapping, which actually now is my most viewed video. But that was intended for trappers, and I got a lot of comments from ordinary people asking about nuisance raccoon problems, and uh, I figured I'd do a video about nuisance raccoon trapping. So first off, if you watch the other video, this is a type of trap from that video. It's known as a dog-proof coon trap, and it's pretty popular in the trapping community, but I would never recommend this for a nuisance trapper. Um, it's just not the right tool for the job. They are cheaper, but they're way more difficult to handle the coon after you have it trapped. These are known as live traps, box traps, cage traps, and they're exactly what you're looking for for nuisance trapping. They're uh, really easy to set, they do a great job catching the animal, and it makes it really easy to move that animal and handle that animal after you caught it, and you don't necessarily have to kill it. So, they're also really discreet, um, but th this one here is a uh, probably the most popular brand out there, Have a Heart. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but you can also get these cheaper ones uh, from like Amazon, they come collapsed in the mail, so a little bit cheaper shipping, and uh, they, I think they work just as good. But I'll leave a link in the description for both of these traps, and you can make the decision on what you would want to buy. Um, but the reason I'm out here is because we've been having a raccoon family get into our bird feeder on the top of our mailbox and it's sitting up there. So I actually set up a trail camera last night and I caught them on trail camera. As you can see, we got three coons coming in and they're climbing all over the mailbox, stealing all the bird feed. For about a half an hour they stuck around. So this is actually going to make trapping them a little easier because we know that they're brave and they're probably not going to be spooked very easily. Alright, so I'll show you how I set these traps up. Um, and the first thing we're going to go over is bait. In the previous video, I used a mixture of bacon grease and whole corn. And that's a great way uh, to set a bunch of traps for very little cost. Um, but that's not really a big deal in nuisance trapping because you're not setting so many traps and cost isn't a huge factor. Um, so, really, the main point of the other video, I said it multiple times, is that you know, coons come into just about anything. So they do have a sweet tooth, they like sweets, and they like fishy smelling things. But if it smells good to you, then a coon will probably eat it. So it's probably going to be a good bait. Uh, we'll do a couple different things here so you have some different options and ideas for what you might bait yours in with. But uh, first we got the sweet one. We're going to do marshmallows with maple syrup. Um, the next one's going to be fishy. I have a commercially produced crawfish, uh, little pellets, and then uh, this is just old fish fry oil. It's got a fishy smell to it. And the last one's just going to be some table scraps. We had chicken wings and here's some bones from those, and we'll do the bacon grease in this one as well. Um, but I'll go over some, some tricks that I have on how to set these to up your percentage of getting a, a raccoon to stay in the trap and get caught. First, if you don't know how one of these work, basically the raccoon enters through this side. Um, you'll have the bait in the back and they'll step on this pan. Once that goes down, the door collapses down and they're stuck inside. But, um, if you can imagine a coon going in there, if you just have loose bait back there, they may just reach right over that pan, grab it, and head out. So we want to kind of secure the bait in there so that they have to work at it and they'll stay in the trap for a long time. So for the first little tip, I uh, take some of this wire and I clipped a little piece off and I fed the marshmallows through it. Um, now I'll take the trap, put it on its side, so this is the bottom, and I'm going to wire them right to the middle here. That way if a coon does try to reach in these little spots, they can't, they can't grab anything. They'll have to go in the front of the trap in order to get back to the back where they can actually get the marshmallows. If you noticed, each one of these baits had a solid bait and a liquid bait. So I wired down all the solid baits, the marshmallows, the crawfish pellets, and the chicken wing bones. And 
when I go to place these traps, I'll drizzle some of the liquid baits over top and right into the trap where the solid baits are. If you are having trouble catching the coon, it might be because they have really sensitive feet and they might not like to walk on this grate on the bottom. So you can add like grass or dirt, uh, just something more natural that they'll walk on and it might not scare them out of the trap. Uh, in this case, I don't think I'll need any of that. Uh, this one already had it, but I'm not adding it to the other two. These coon are really brave. I think they're just gonna go right in, go after the bait and get caught. All right, so the last thing is just placing the trap and you just want a flat spot where the trap isn't gonna rock when the coon walks in there. If it rocks around, then you know it might spook the coon out. Um, so I just kind of put my hands on top of the trap and press it down. But uh, you can see, then I put maple syrup, just drizzled it right through the top onto those marshmallows. I did uh, bacon grease on top of the chicken wings right there. And then on the other side of that sluice, I did the fish fry oil on top of the crawfish pellets. So those should work pretty well. And now we just gotta, I'm gonna wait till dark and then I'll, I'll open up those doors, make sure nothing else gets in there during the daylight. I'll open up those doors, set the trail camera, and we'll see if we catch any. All right, so it's the next morning, and looks like we did have a little bit of action here last night. Looks like they, uh, they pushed this trap out of the way without setting it off, just to get down to the bacon grease on the ground there. And uh, I do have some trail camera videos of them crossing the ditch right here, right in front of that one. They were interested in the, the marshmallows, but didn't commit to it. And they did, sp you know, come over here and spend a little bit of time in the grass here where I was setting everything up because there is some smell there. So didn't catch anything over here. Um, one easy way you can fix if they're moving the trap like that, just take some stakes and drive them through the corners of the traps. And uh, they won't be able to move them. They'll have to go through the front to get their nose right over that and smell that, uh, that liquid bait that you put on there. But normally I don't worry about that because uh, I set enough traps that I normally at least catch one. And that's what happened over here. So, got a coon in this trap. It's literally one night. And uh, this one was on the crawfish pellets and the uh, fish fry oil. So, I, like I said, they really like that fishy smell. Um, another easy bait like that is uh, just canned tuna fish. Just crack that can open about halfway, maybe poke a hole through it and wire it to the bottom of the trap like I showed you. Um, or even sardines, same idea. But uh, anyway, now we got them in the cage. It's uh, really easy. I'll show you how easy it is to move them around. All you got to worry about is don't uh, don't stick your fingers through the metal part of the you know the metal grate. That's why they have this plate up here. So you can grab that. And you can pick them up and set them down in a truck, in a car, whatever. Move them and if you don't wanna kill them, you can release them somewhere. But you do wanna check, uh, check your local regulations, your state laws. Some states don't allow you to release live raccoons on public property. Um, so just make sure you're not breaking the law. And uh, you also wanna check and make sure you're even allowed to trap, you know, nuisance. Normally you're allowed to do a lot with nuisance, but some, some places are a little more strict. You might not be allowed to trap during the off season. So anyway, that's as easy as it is. There's one coon down and uh, we're gonna leave these traps out again. We'll see if we catch anything again. But thanks for watching and good luck out there.